Um, really proud of our student athletes and happy for them. Um, the things that they've overcome, a, a coaching change, especially for these three seniors and juniors that are up here, a head coaching change, the guy that recruited every single player in our room, um, you know, departed at Christmas time. And then just the ups and downs of our season with all our injuries, I'm just, it's amazing what they've been able to overcome. And the resiliency and the responses we've had all year, I'm not surprised with what I thought was probably our best team effort tonight against a great team in Miami who showed why they were preseason number one. Well, I definitely think this uh, probably wasn't my best weekend ever, but it just shows, you know, how committed our team is to playing together. And, and it doesn't matter what uh, what happens behind them; they're going to play with heart, tenacity, energy, no matter what. And for them to bounce back after those two bad bounces, both games, and perform the way they did, you wouldn't even notice that something went wrong for us. How hard they worked and and how focused they were. It was uh, it was impressive and very fun to watch. <clears throat> I mean, it's obviously a good way to start things off uh, for this tournament, especially for us. Um, like Sam said, we had a lot of obstacles to overcome, and you know, we really came together as a team, um, especially you know in the last couple of weeks with uh, you know coming against Omaha, and then obviously coming in here playing some good teams like Oma uh, Miami and Michigan. Zach, you've played in the NCAA tournament a couple of times. Um, how far away did that seem just a couple of weeks ago? And you know, now to uh, to be honest with the group of guys we have, it wasn't far at all. I mean, you saw how hard we worked this weekend and last weekend. I mean, we didn't think it was out of reach at all. We knew what we had to do, and we put our minds to it, and look what happened. I mean, we're in the NCAA tournament, so we're all pretty happy with uh, the outcome of this weekend. Sam, what was going through your mind both times you Miami? You know, I think for me, obviously, you can't let that stuff rattle you. Two-goal lead, one they score to make it 4-3, a minute left. They're a good team, but I don't even think, I think I maybe faced one shot after that. We were able to keep them uh, away, keep them pinned in their zone, and we just stuck to our game plan. And, and obviously it worked out very, uh, very good, but tons of credit for them. They made it uh, a long night for us, and we were able to uh, hold them off and get the win. All right, we weren't letting that victory slip out of our hands. We knew what we had to do, like I said earlier, and we just put our minds to it and went out and worked. I mean, in the locker room, everybody's talking about things that we can improve on, like we do every single intermission. So nothing really changed too much. We just had, we knew that we were pretty hot going into the third periods the past few nights. So we just kept that rolling and we came out with the victory. Coach, we, uh, we talked after the last game. Well, I, I think we did. Um, we, we changed our game plan against them, and again, our players executed the game plan really well. We, we wanted to minimize the offensive opportunities by their elite forwards, and our decor and our forwards' back pressure took away all time and space for them to be able to make plays on the rush, which is where they were really uh, where they're really dangerous. You know, I think with how competitive our league was, it was, you know, difficult to gauge the fact that we finished six and say we had a, a bad year. And I don't think that's the case. You look at Miami upsetting St. Cloud, sure, to the outside it looked like an upset, but everyone in the conference knew that it wasn't really an upset because of how good the league is top to bottom. So for us, we knew that going to Nebraska, it was anybody's game. It just, you know, with hard work and determination, any team could beat any team on any night. And like I said, it doesn't matter what place you finish. Anything can happen. Six versus eight in the final. Who would have thought that, right? So. Jim, up to nothing after 20 minutes. Did you almost feel like a missed opportunity with that late power play in the, in the first period there where you know, it seemed like you could almost put the game out of reach then? 
No, because um, I thought our second power play gave us momentum. The third power play we, we had concerned me because we spent the whole time breaking out. And Miami adjusted. It's a good coaching staff over there, and they changed a few things on their forecheck that didn't enable us to carry the puck across the blue line with possession. Uh, but five on five, I thought that um, we were the superior team tonight. Um, you know, Miami's a dangerous team, but I thought that our puck possession time and our transition from defense to offense was superb tonight. And it, we had a lot of scoring chances five on five that I thought could have pushed it to three nothing. Jim, that player that you touched on with the goal, were you surprised at all by the conference turnaround? Well, you know, no, I mean, uh, you know, I think we only swept once ourselves this weekend and we were uh, this year and we were only swept once uh, we have beaten every team we had lost every team and almost everyone was like that I, I saw a stat out there that uh, the conference leaders in the other conferences Big Ten Hockey East and uh, ECAC won 82 percent of their game combined I think uh, St. Cloud won 62 percent it's it's the SEC of football Well, I, I got to say that uh, the experience of winning as a player and as a coach and junior, um, it, it allows you to, to, to know what to say to your players about how to excel in big time games. And I, I, that experience I drew on. And I, I've been telling our players to stay in the moment and focus on execution and our process that gives us success. And I think you witnessed that tonight because I, that's the best we've executed all year. <laughs> the yelling <problem. laughs> it's up there. Well, after, you know, you get used to a coach for two years, um, you kind of get to know their systems, they get to know you, uh, you create a relationship, and they can, you know, they've seen what you can do. So I guess when you, a new coach comes in, it's a fresh start, so it can be a good and bad thing um, for certain, you know, different people. And I thought our team handled it really well, um, and clearly you can see that we all bought into the system um, with the process that Coach Montgomery does. Yeah, I mean, one of the biggest things also was I mean, he didn't let anybody just come in and slip into a position. He made everybody work for each second they're on the ice. So that was a big thing for me because uh, in the past, I mean, he just some, I mean, the older guys would play a little bit more over the younger guys. And uh, coach kind of makes whoever whoever's feeling good or whoever's playing good is going to be playing that night. So. I mean, I just pulled up and I saw that no D was coming to me, so I just kind of took my time and I saw there was an opening between his legs and the bottom right corner was open, so I just shot it and went in. Yeah. 